Hello everybody, it is Smokerts here, and today I will be showing you guys how to work with the new pixel sorter effect in Panzoid. So let me just delete that. So, if you want to get the pixel sorter, I recommend you put it on an adjustment layer. So you want to drag this onto your timeline. It's bring this to pixel sorter, and we go to effects. And we search for pixel sorter, or you can look through the whole list of effects. And you want to click add you can see like oh that's pretty cool and as what it says in the description of it it mentions rearranges pixels based on relative brightness so it kind of like it's a cool glitch effect that it's quite trendy in the intro community and chief x community in which um it was added in the panzoid so i can show you guys how it works so you can displace so or not displace but like affect the pixel sort by the shadows of your source or the highlights in which um, the threshold is basically the amount but one tip is that when you switch like effect modes the threshold modes are actually going to switch so see yeah it's not a bug it's how threshold works but it's a little unintuitive for users but it's no point of fixing that because I don't know but then you have an option where you can reverse the pixel sort like that it kind of flips it and then the direction is vertical right now or you can change it to horizontal like that which is pretty neat in my opinion and I find this effect can be really nice because it can be used as a transition a glitch effect whatever you want it to be it's a really cool effect and I'm I can demonstrate how you can keyframe it. So we're about to keyframe it, and since we're using highlights, we gotta start off as a threshold as one. And we click the stopwatch. And let's go here. Let's make that zero. And then we go here and make that one. And there you go. Pixel sort right there. And we can do reverse. So it's opposite direction. And if we change it back to off, like that. Now here's the thing, if you decide like, eh, I don't want to do highlights, I want to do uh, shadows. Here is your problem. Since they're reversed, you're going to have to change this to zero, then one, then zero. Like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and more tutorials will be coming up in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.